GibbsCam 14 now offers an industry leading wire EDM solution. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to show you how easy it is to program your wire machines right inside of your GibbsCam window. GibbsCam 14's wire solution gives you a couple different options for selecting features in your operation. We can do manual feature recognition. So we have a couple here we can like manually pick edges or faces. But the really cool thing is this automatic feature recognition. So in here, we can tell GibbsCam, let's just look at the external features. We just want to cut this out. Or just look at the inside features. So you know what, for this one, I'm going to say, just let's look at the inside features. It's already cut out. It's already machined. I just need to wire some of these inside features. So just hit the green check mark. And after a little calculation, here are all of the features that it picked up. You can see that it picked up those circles, this extrude down here the cylinder in the middle, and then it did go around the outside. For this example, I just want to concentrate on this extrude here. So I'm going to go ahead and disable the other features. So now that I have this feature, let's talk a little bit about the settings for the operation. For the origin, strategy, technology, workpiece, we can actually set these to be the same as the program, or we can set them individually per feature. For this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that program origin. Strategy is how we're gonna cut this. You can see we have a lot of different options here as far as bridges and which order we're gonna cut these in. And we also have some direction of cut settings down here. Now technology, this is where I really want to get into the GibbsCam wire solution. It comes preloaded with a whole set of technology that each user has access to. So as we go through this, we can actually select some of these settings and it'll automatically populate our cuts down here. Now this technology database is customizable, but it does come with a lot of the standard technology and machine technologies on the market today. The workpiece is really interesting too. We can actually use a bounding box or a specific solid. Let's go ahead and use a specific solid for this. And I actually have one in my body bag called stock. So it's all set up. Let's talk about the settings that we have when we actually cut this feature. If we expand the tree down, you can see that we have a little feature strategy. And again, we can use it from the operation and also what we want to do with each of these segments. What we want to do with this segment before, after, you know, if we want to do a different technology, but you can see as I highlight this, it says using operation technology. Also, we have after moves, events, and lead-ins. For the lead-ins, we can see that we have a start hole that we can modify, endpoints, and then lead on, lead offs. Again, this is a fully functioning wire EDM solution that's really going to speed up your production. Last but not least, let's look at simulation. We have a couple options here. We can do just a graphic simulation, which just show, show the wire around this, or we can do what's called a solid simulation. So let's check that out. So here we can see the 3D representation of our nozzle and the wire. You, know, you look really close. You can see the wire's not threaded yet because it's not over the hole. So I'm going to slow it down just a little bit and play it here. Yeah, it goes really quick. So let me rewind that. So there we can see that the nozzle's moving over, and then you're gonna see a thread coming. There it is, connecting the wire, and then there it is going around the part. This is a nice solid representation of that wire going around. So here it shows the slugs. And we can actually remove that if we wanted to see it. We can remove that slug, and that's the part on the table. If you have any questions at all about anything that I've showed today, wire, simulation, solids, please reach out to your local reseller. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.